we've got pretty much all our shopping done mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. We got a bed. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, we have a visitor. There's a stink bug on my lap. <laughs> Jamie, kill. Kill that bug. There's a stink bug. Ew. Hi, I'm Sharon. Hi, I am Rich, better known as the Yarn Boy. And, uh, and go this ahead. is we Jamie Yorkie. Mm -hmm. And we're here with the incredible shrinking woman. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm cutting that out. I swear to God. <laughs> the doctor, I shrunk another half an inch, but I don't believe her. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. So, okay. all right, shorty. I thought you looked shorter lately. I'm not even going. I'm. I'm mad about it. So I'm not talking about it. Okay. Well, we won't talk about that. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about Yorkies. You're pretty short. We're not a contest. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is episode 296 no. of the Knit Style Podcast, and we're getting close. Four more episodes, and then we will reach episode 300, which is insane, right? You're so good. He had a bath today, this morning. He wasn't happy about it. Mm. He runs away from me. <laughs> Yes, he knows so words. You, yes, he knows what that means when mm -hmm. he runs to hide. I'll look at him and I'll say, you look scruffy, you need a bath, and pew, he just takes off. <laughs> You're such a good boy, though. Yes, you are. All right, so let's get on with the show, because yeah. I know you want to get back to watching football. I can't get out of this Sunday uh, recording schedule. It's just... Well, we're not recording now for a while, right? Yeah. After New Year's. No, after Thanksgiving, we'll probably mm. have one or two. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we we'll see how the wind blows. So, but I'm ta we're taking a little break because it's Thanksgiving next week, and I need a little break. I've been super super busy with the business, and I love it, and it's great. Mm. Very busy. Yeah, I mean, bring bags and <laughs> bags to the post office, and that gives me. A segue to say thank you so much for everybody who has placed orders. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the business later. But in the meantime, let's get to the giveaway. So I have this really, really pretty sock yarn to give away today. And I drew, I drew a winner. And I think the winner is someone we know, Rich. Oh. I think. I, from her name, I think... We know this person from Instagram, but they don't have the see. same Instagram as they do. Uh, okay. So the winner... Well, well, on, show me who. <sighs> I'm not sure... Oh, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if it's the same person, but the winner that I drew from the YouTube comments is Melba Toast. And Melba, if you are Melba, hey, Miss Muffet on Instagram, let me know when you email me. And you are the winner of this beautiful sock yarn. And Melba Toast said, my question was, what are you knitting for the holidays? And um, she said she's knitting on a pair of socks for her doctor, lucky doctor. And when Christmas time comes, I think December 1st, she said she was doing a Land of Sweets cowl for herself. Mm. And that is a great pattern. Oh, congratulations. I like love this. that. So this is beautiful. You're a sock knitter, obviously. You're going to love these socks, uh, this sock wool. This is 20% merino, no, 60% merino, 20% alpaca, 20% nylon, and it's gorgeous. I love these colors. Um, there's no giveaway for next time because I don't know when we'll be recording next, so I'm not doing, I don't have anything to give away for next time. Um, yeah, so that's it for that Someone else. I have been knitting pretty much exclusively on my Stephen West mystery shawl and I'm almost finished with it by the time you see me next I will be finished with it so uh -oh. here it is I <clears throat> am eliminating clue four because I <laughs> Don't think it would work with these colors. Anyway, I also, on clue three, instead of doing the crisscross, like, stringy thing, 
I put in a lace panel. So I showed you the lace panel from last week. It came from the book um, Estonian Lace by Na by Nancy Bush. Oh, lace. Right? I thought you were saying waist. Lace. Oh. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. The blue or the green teal? And then what comes next? So I put in this lace pattern um, for the teal. I would have been farther along. I had to rip out some of it because it's lace. I haven't knit lace in a while. And I didn't like... I mean, I just pretty much picked part of a lace pattern. I only did like one repeat of it, which is about the same um, area that the other pattern that Stephen had would go in there. I really like it so much better. Isn't that pretty? Next row is going to be lace too. Nope. Oh. This yellow and orange is going to be two color garter stitch. So I'm just going to finish this off with maybe 16 rows of two color garter stitch in the yellow and the orange it's going to look a little bit like this hmm. but this is a little different this isn't two color garter stitch this is like similar but not really so i wore this beautiful cinnabar shawl by andrea mallory i remembered it i didn't <laughs> i had to look it up. i already forgot <laughs> i had to look it up before the the show before started Alzheimer's does this is the know. this is the oh. cinnabar shawl and I'm not going to take it all off for you, but half of this shawl... Oh, what yeah, the heck? Take it all off I'll just tonight, take baby. it all off. I'm not even going to go there. So this <laughs> beautiful section here, oh. this gray, this it's half... Very nice shawl, actually. Isn't it? Yeah. Half of it is brioche. You know, it's really nice. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm. And it's so warm. Half of it's brioche, and this half right here is two-color garter. And this is, the two color garter is what got me. I love this look. So the two color garter is with a gray and then um, knit with also the, just a plain gray marl and a um, spin cycle, skein of spin cycle. And I love how it came out. So I have decided that I'm going to put, <laughs> he's so funny, I'm going to put two, card, two color garter on the edge of this shawl in the orange and the yellow, which is going to look a little bit like this, this section. So, oh, that's, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. It's going to look beautiful. And I'm excited. And I'm going to finish it off with a Pico bind off, which is just like little points. Um, and you'll see it when I do it. And I'm going to do that in this beautiful royal purple color. Kind of, it'll just finish it off nicely. So I'm almost there. I only have maybe 10 rows to go, but they're long rows. So they take a little bit of time. But I love it, and it's going well, and I'm, I'm oh, really enjoying it. everything now. So, I know, that's how I lo almost lost the sock. So I turned the heel on my bewitched socks, um, and all I have to do is knit the foot. These are my car knitting. Car knitting, yes, I know. Yeah, I usually don't take that big shawl out with me because it's just... I did the other day, yesterday, because I, I was just purling back on a lace row, so I took it with me. But, yeah. So these are almost finished, and I love them. And that's it. That's all the knitting I've been doing. Oh. We went and got, met, Troy and I went and got our booster shot. So we had a lot of appointments this week. Yes. Oh, I had a tons. I had a gynecologist appointment. That's who measured me. They measure you just to make sure your bones aren't shrinking. I, I don't freaking know. but so they, they measure your bones? <laughs> no, I don't know. They just measure you. So she said I need a another bone density. You know how it is. My demographic is women about my age. Y'all are about my age. So you, you know. And if you haven't been to the gynecologist, it's fine. It's You just need to keep your health the way it is. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm very healthy. She was very impressed. Hmm. Very impressed with how 
you know, my you blood pressure is low. You had booster shot already. When did you get that? Last I had week. my booster shot. Week before. Almost two weeks ago. Oh, okay. I had the Johnson & Johnson booster shot because I have a reaction to vaccinations. And Johnson & Johnson was fine for me. I had no reaction at all to either one. And I was a little tired after the booster, but other than that, fine. But you and Troy had yours on Thursday, and you mm -hmm. had Moderna. And it was worse than the second shot, the reaction, especially for Troy. Mine wasn't oh. quite as bad. Well, I was laid up for two days, but Troy was really sick for two days. It's like, oh, man. Yeah, and I don't know how he's doing today. I'll have to, He's probably up by now. I'll have to ask him. But he got a swollen, real bad swollen gland. Yeah, he got glands, the glands, yeah, which I and didn't get. That always makes me nervous because that was, that's a long story. But he had, um, he's an, he's a cancer survivor, and that's how I knew that he had cancer back in, back when he was two, with swollen glands. Um, but that is a symptom after you have the shot, and it, it, he got it after the shot, so I'm mm. sure that's what it was yeah. from. So. But yeah, a nasty reaction to that shot. Oh, the poor kid. And we hydrated. He was really sick. They said yeah. drink a lot, and we, God, went through a couple gallons of. Gatorade and we still look like crap. But the upside to that, I know you, it was not fun, but you have good immunities. That shows from everything I've read, the fact that you did get a reaction shows that your immune system is um, ready to fight in case. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Jesus. So we're set. We're... And the flu shot's down. That's two gone. Yeah, you've had the flu shot. Yep, and now just one more thing next I month. I know. That's the worse. The second shingle shot, which is, oh, God. Yeah, he got the shingle shot. That's I'm a little afraid of that one, too, because, Afraid again, of that shot. You're going to have to get it. I know. Because if you shingle, is a horrible thing to I get. I know. Oh. So, anyway, this is not a medical show. This is a knitting show. So, that's what's been going on in our lives. We've been super crazy busy and whatever. Thanksgiving this week, we've started... We've got pretty much all our shopping done mm -hmm. for Thanksgiving. We got a bed. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh. We have a visitor. There's a stink bug on my lap. <laughs> Jamie, kill. Kill that bug. There's a stink bug. Ew. Let me get them. They don't bite. They just drop in everywhere, they just, don't they? They just They're drop. Shits. Okay, there he is. There's a stink bug. I'm not afraid of bugs or snakes or anything like that so <laughs> it just fell out of the sky i will take care of him later i won't tell you what i will be doing with him but anyway crunched him in we're a up tissue in the, we're up in the attic i mean we get ladybugs and stink we, as long as it's not a bee i'm okay with it so anywho jamie how come you didn't bite that stink bug <laughs> that was so funny i was just went into your lap <laughs> Why do you land on Jamie's head or something? Well, it didn't, that'll land? <laughs> it didn't land on the yarn. So, let's show some show some yarn. All right. Oh, I need to take okay. I need to take some video of Jamie cuz he's being super You and Jamie are You and Jamie are the cutest. You are just the cutest. Jamie, baby. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. How come you didn't get that stink bug? Where's that stink where's, bug? Where's the stink bug? Go get it. Get that stink bug. Stink bug. Get down. Okay, so let's show some yarn. He's looking at the window. That's That's smooth. probably where they came. Okay, so I have the cutest bag this week. Look at this bag. They're always cute. Oh, no, that Christmas one. That's nice. I like those black and... Isn't it gorgeous? I love black in there, and it's a Christmas. It's got a mermaid. A Christmas mermaid. A Christmas oh, mermaid. And a Christmas robot. And a Christmas robot and a unicorn. Oh. And this is the yarn. An acorn. What do you think of the yarn? Oh wow! Holy man! You do that. Matches everything exactly. Thank the you. The orange, the pinks, the blues, the blacks, the greens. How do you do all that? Talent. Amazing. It is. It's a I talent. guess. Well, yeah, I have an eye for color. I mean, I honestly don't have any degrees in art or anything. I know a lot. I know about color and I know about what goes together and the color wheel and all the color theory. I've studied it, but yeah, I'm proud of it. Thank Very you. Nice. Yeah, that's I appreciate it. Match. 
And I just, I know how my dyes behave. Sometimes it's a crapshoot. Sometimes it doesn't work out the way I want it to, but it's all beautiful. It all will knit up gorgeous into something beautiful. So anyway, I'm calling this um, Whimsical Christmas Tree. Oh, okay. Because it's whimsical. Oh, yeah, they're all Christmas ornaments. They're Christmas ornaments. There's a whim All of them are very whimsical and not traditional Christmas colors. Even Santa has not like a peach-colored hat. Oh, yeah. So, I was going to call it the Christmas Mermaid, but... I'm not sure no, if every bag will have a yet. mermaid. <laughs> so anyway, it's whimsical Christmas decorations. Oh, and look at the pretty lining. Polka dots. Oh, very good. So, yeah, I am very happy with how this came out. Well, there's a couple traditional balls on there. Yeah, there are. Yeah, from Bad like, mind. almost like um, a vintage Christmas ball. We yeah, have a bunch of those. there's another one right there. We have a bunch of vintage... Christmas. Very nice, though. One year, remember when that happened? We had a tree, a real tree, full of gorgeous vintage Christmas balls yeah. that my parents, that were my parents, that gave, and they had given it to me. What happened to that tree? Tree fell over, and there went the ball. <laughs> I think I lost about half of them. I yeah. still have a couple left, but yeah, that, yeah, was, that sad. was sad. That was really sad. It, it broke was a lot of. Sad. Then you started tying it. You started yeah. tying, after that happened, you started tying the tree. Now with the artificial one, you don't have to worry about it. Now we have a gorgeous artificial tree, which Doesn't you will see water. in Vlogmas. You have seen it in the past. I have to say, I, I am not a fan of artificial Christmas trees, but this one I can make an exception for because it's, it's really a beautiful tree. 2,000 baby white lights on it's it. It's absolutely stunning. It's stunning. Okay, so I have so, um, so, so, I have so, some more so. Grinch. Grinch. Grinch sock sets. And um, I also I did a new sock set this week. This is um, also part of the mini skein set. It doesn't have as much white in it as the mini skein set skein has, but this is. Um, Welcome Christmas mini skein or um, sock sets. You get a full skein and a mini. I have some more um, holiday mood. This one came out really pretty with some coppery tones in it. I mean, holiday mood is the kind of color that's gonna come out a, maybe a little bit different every time I dye it. This is beautiful. I love it. And that's it for that. I have, I sold out of Advents. Oh, I, I was so happy when the last one sold. I was very happy. <laughs> They're sold out. But I do have three 12 skeins of Christmas left. And I want to show you what you would get. You get these cute little skeins all wrapped up. There are 12 of them. And instead of being variegated minis, they are um, they are semi solids. So all kind of candy colors. They're all in these little bags. I did not do these little bags. Donna did because if I had to do this, no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen. happen. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> I I couldn't do it. I could not do that without Donna. No because way. Patience of the same, Donna. Well, she. She's good with the paper craft. I don't do paper crafts. I've told you that before. Mm. If you watch the show, I just don't. So, no, um, you're not a crafty person at all. Not in paper crafts, I'm not. Mm. But in yarn and mm. other, like textiles, I'm your girl, but not paper crafts. And I have one fall Corey Stories set left in the DK. Ooh. Um, I am working on mine, but I haven't touched it because I I want to do Stephen West when I'm. That's how it's knitting up. It's beautiful. Love it. I My, still have one of those left, though. I have one left. Hmm. I did a lot. Thank you for buying those, you guys. One of the gray. I have two of the colorful ones with the speckled mini. These are all DK. You can get the pattern from Corey. 
um, I Rock Knits on Ravelry, and she also has a website and a podcast, I Rock Knits Podcast. Um, if you don't know already, I'm sure you do. And I also did a Christmas set. Oh, very good. Yes, I remember that. From, from last, last week. week. And um, I love, I, it's such a fun pattern. I, I really want to get back to it. It's it's so clever this pattern and it's a cowl and um, it has the panels that go around your neck and it's beautiful love it let's see I think that's it I have some mini skeins in the Cory colors mini couple mini skein sets and I have some mini skein sets in the Cory Christmas colors in fingering. Um, and that's it. So, Friday is Black Friday. Let's not talk about that. Who would go, uh, first of all, who would go out there? Not me. Me neither, but there are plenty of online shopping opportunities. Oh, online, yeah. That's about all I do online. And? We don't go to the mall anyway. So Hardly we go to the ever. Danbury Mall. Yeah. And that's probably going to be our first Vlogmas day. <laughs> it's going to the Danbury Mall. Anyway, I am having a Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday sale oh. next weekend. Bye, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I will be putting up the sale before Black Friday. It will happen this week. So if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, there is a link down below. Subscribe to the newsletter. You could go to my website and all the way at the bottom. It'll pop up too, but you can also go all the way to the bottom and subscribe. Um, and as soon as the sale goes live, I will send out the newsletter. So the newer items, like all of this stuff, won't be on sale. But the older fall line will all be discounted. And I'm discounting each one individually. That way you could still get free shipping. So the prices will be as marked. There's no like blanket discount code, um, but you can still use your free ship code, free ship for the United States shipping free. Um, and the reason I did that is because you can't use two codes on the site. You can only use one. So that's why I'm discounting everything individually. So I have plenty, I have lots and lots of fall mini skein sets left, and I have um, skeins left. I have a whole thing of yarn over there. <laughs> so that will all be going on sale, probably 20% off or so. Um, it may vary. Some might be more, some might be less. So watch for that in your mailboxes, and it will last the weekend, and then it will be over. It's the only sale I do all year, because I, I've been giving free shipping, and that's enough of a sale usually. But this year, as a thank you to you guys, um, I'm, I'm doing it for that weekend. So watch for that if you need a gift or something for yourself. And that is it. What? You doing any Christmas shopping? No. Richie doesn't. Richie. I don't shop. It's fine. I get it. I'm not a shopper. No, I hate you're them not. All. I hate it. Yeah, I you hate going there. But you, but and he online, he can't. <laughs> I can't go online because I only buy everything I buy for her as a present for Christmas mm -hmm. is cash yeah. only. Pure simple cash because if putting it on charge to me is like. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not a gift. Well, you could We're have, paying for it. You could have M buy me something so, and give her the money for it. Yes. But I, he already bought me some things. I know what it is, so I'm excited about it, actually. So, anyway. Yeah, so it's I can't put anything on a, on a charge because she does the book, so she'll see it instantly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Did you charge this? Who is it? Someone going to rob our account. Plus, he's not even allowed to use PayPal anymore because... Just the way that our computers are worked. So, if he wants something, he has to tell me and send me a link and I'll buy it. 
because we have I have yeah, PayPal. I, mean, I can't think of wasting my time going to a mall. When I have just... two factor authorization on my PayPal, and he can't get to it. So, <laughs> so anyway. The only store I buy from is L. L. Bean, where I'll go in and buy something, and you hate. I'm not a fan of L. L. Bean. I, for you, it's fine. For me, I don't like their clothes. It's not my it's not my taste. That's okay. Our daughter loves it, so mm -hmm. I already got her something there. Um, yeah, she's a big beanie fan. Yeah, she likes she likes it. So it's just your taste. In, I I tend to be a little more uh, trendy than LL Bean, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a Gap girl. I like the Gap. <laughs> the Gap. The Gap and Lululemon, and yeah, most, I'm a sporty sporty kind of girl. But anyway, not that you're gonna buy me clothes. American Eagle, you buy it. Yeah, sometimes American Eagle. I buy T-shirts at American. That's about it. Very casual. I don't. I don't like. I don't it. go they to used an have office. Great clothes. Thank goodness I don't have to dress for an office anymore. Oh, mm. That is so nice. I can just wear what I want. Then they have those stupid skinny jeans. I can. Really close. <laughs> I hate those. I hate those things. I wouldn't be caught dead. I'd rather walk around naked and get arrested than wear skinny. They're jeans. not really in style for women anymore. I mean, they. Kind of are. Men are. Men, men they walk around a little bit to make their feet look like they're like <laughs> gondolas. There's nothing attractive about many skinny well, jeans. Well, the one good thing about you, you look good in everything. Richie is tall and thin. Not those. <laughs> no. You would not look good in skinny jeans. You no. just look good in the casual. I like my old 20-year-old. Oversized shows, clothes. American Eagle jeans. When they fine. really made jeans that you can't mm -hmm. pull four inches one way or another. Yeah, yeah. Where they made a real denim. Yeah, That's they don't, what I like. He doesn't like the stretch in the denim. So Anyway, this is not a show about fast, fast fashion. Well, if Mr. American Eagle is listening, get rid of those stupid skinny jeans and bring back normal <laughs> pants with normal I like, widths. I like to make my clothes. I like to make all my sweaters. I make all my sweaters, and that's fun. You have to make him one. No, no, I'm not making okay. him a Sorry, sweater. Sorry, Jamie, you, you got nothing. <laughs> Maybe at some point, not go, now. I gotta go Christmas shopping for him. For Jamie? Yes. Sure, you'll go Christmas shopping for Jamie, but not for me. <laughs> well, it's not very far. I, I'm going to watch Stop and Shop. <laughs> Quote those ears. <laughs> I gotta get him a big, <laughs> whatchamacallit, sheep. Uh, lamb chop. A lamb chop. He yes. likes that lamb chop sheep. And put it in his stock. For the dog, the dog version. You didn't hear that, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> he word. knows that word, though. Oh, hell He yeah. knows lamb chop. Yeah. Don't you? You like lamb chop. We bought him one up at the lake, and he loved it. It was his favorite. All right. Well, it's time to go then, guys. Have a good Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Get something beautiful. And cheers. cheers. We were feeling high. And I got drunk for the first time. I thought I was cool. I thought I looked smooth in your eyes and tried.